Hi guys, this is going to be a long awaited video for some of you. Many of you have asked me when I'm finally going to get on my arse into gear and actually film it. I told you I was going to at the beginning of the year and honestly it just overfaced me. It seemed like such a huge video to make um, and so what I did was I broke it down to bite sized chunks because that's how it is easiest to do anything that is kind of just break it down into smaller tasks. Um, it's going to be the entire lip butter collection from Revlon. Everything that should be available that you can buy right now I'm about to swatch and show you and you will just be inundated with more information you could possibly want. Um, and the way that I did it was I've categorised the colours. I don't know if Revlon actually did already categorise these colours. I kind of feel like they may have done because of the um, slightly different like lids. They kind of have a theme. Um, so I've tried to fit in with that but I have just kind of gone on my own and decided what I think fits into a category. So I'm going to start with brights. Um, each of these has their own, each category has its own blog post on my blog but I'm going to put the pictures up from the blog posts as we go. We're going to just kick off with the brights which is these five here. Um, I have first of all lollipop and in the picture for this one I look bizarrely orange. I look like Ross from Friends when he's eight. Um, I look really, really tanned, and it's just sometimes my camera, for some reason, takes a picture of me and I'm orange. The rest of them are all fine, and it's just kind of a strange anomaly, so you can ignore that. But I really love this. When I first got it, I wasn't that keen on it. I thought it was too blue-toned and too bright, uh, but I've learned to love it. It is still not my absolute favourite pink. I would say my favourite bright pink will be the next one. Um, but Lollipop was one of the first ones, one of those ones that everyone raved about when they were first, first launched. And I really do like it, but it is slightly, slightly more blue toned than I would like. Um, the one that I love is Sorbet. And although they are very, very similar, they're different enough for me to feel like I need them both. And they are different enough for you to want one or the other as well, because I definitely prefer this one. It's definitely warmer, it's slightly um, more kind of Barbie pink. Um, which is not going to be for everyone and it's although it's bold it doesn't feel as bold as the other one because the other is just I just think that blue tone is so harsh in there um, but sorbet is definitely my favorite kind of bright pink from the selection uh, next I have tutti frutti which was one everyone raved about um, it's this real gorgeous orange and yes it is sheer but you can build it up to quite a bold color as you can see in my photos and that is not super flattering on my skin tone I do not think I am an orange lip gal. Certain things, you know, when it kind of airs on the side of peach, I can do that, but this is like, this is orange. So if you love orange lips, it's a gorgeous color, um, but it's not gonna be for everyone. It's not all that diff, or oh, not the difficult, not all that easy to wear. Uh, next is Wild Watermelon. Really, really like this one. This and the next one I'm gonna talk about are kind of what I call summer reds, because they've got that jelly look to them, because obviously they're not super opaque. That's the whole point of the lip butters. They aren't, they are, slightly sheer, although I'm going to get into some that are quite opaque later on. Um, but there's just, just that kind of jelly look to it, and this is just kind of happy, I don't know. There's kind of slightly coral, it's just, it's a summer red, it's a summer red to me. And Candy Apple is much the same, they're very very similar, watermelon, uh, wild watermelon and candy apple, I don't think you need both of them. I prefer wild watermelon, um, I would say it's slightly more corally pink than Candy Apple, which is slightly more on the red tone. Next is my least favourite category, and it's what I've called the pastels, and that is these colours. Um, I just don't love them. None of them really look great on me, and if you wanted them all, you'd be kind of crazy, because they all look so similar. There are slight differences, like some are more blue toned, some are more warm toned, of course, um, but I think if one of them suits you, you would pick the one that suits you, and you don't need the rest of them. They've got so little colour to them, they all kind of just look like frosting. The first one is called Sugar Frosting, and it's probably the one that I would pick of the bunch, um, purely because it's got the least colour to it. It's the most even. It's not at all streaky compared to some of them, which can be quite patchy. Um, but like I say, very, very little colour, and it does kind of look like frosting on your lips. Uh, the next one is Pink Lemonade. I really loved this at first. I really wanted to love it more than I do now, um, but again, the whole opaque or opaque the whole um kind of what's the word i'm looking for kind of concealer lips almost it's it really does knock out the color of your lips and i'm not really into that if you are this might be nice but again i think they're quite streaky um then there is cupcake which is my least favorite of the bunch because it's seriously blue toned i think this is quite similar to snob from um mac but tell me if i'm wrong i don't actually have snob to compare it to here but in the tube it kind of looks like that or maybe what's the other one 
Saint Germain, quite blue tone, pale pinks. Uh, and then lastly, I have Cotton Candy. Again, quite lilac, not my kind of thing, um, but worth sharing since we're sharing the entire collection. So, moving on to the candies. Um, and these were kind of, they could be brights, they, they were kind of somewhere in the middle of the brights and the pastels, and that's these three colours here. Um, and one of them was much brighter than I expected it to be, actually. Uh, first I have Juicy Papaya, which is a nice, um, it's kind of like an orangey peach colour. I would say if you are considering getting uh, Tutti Fruity but you think maybe it won't suit you, get this one instead because it's got a nice hint of colour, definitely a lot easier to wear, um, but you still have that kind of peachy orange pop. And I really like that one. Uh, then we have Strawberry Shortcake, which is just a nice pink. Again, it's, an, it's, a, it's a nice, more wearable pink. I like that one. Uh, but my favourite of this bunch has to be Sweet Tart. And again, this is the one that I, I was just not expecting it to be this bright. Uh, when I swatched it, I was quite surprised. I really, really like that one. It could have maybe sat along the brights, um, but I felt like it just was slightly less bold than those ones, so I decided to put it in with this little mini candies collection. But that's a gorgeous colour. I really, really like that one. Next we have the Neutrals. And again, we could move these around in different categories, but I've decided to put them here. The first one is Creme Brulee. This is a beautiful colour. And when I first got it, I used it quite a lot. And um, since then, I just, I'm just i just not a nude lipstick fan. If you are a nude lips fan, this is a really, really nice formula. It's really quite opaque as the paler colours go. It's one of the better ones. Uh, and the only reason that I don't love this is because I don't think that the super nude lip um, is very, very flattering to me. I like a slightly deeper nude. And as you will know from recent videos, I really like the matte uh, nude look as well. So I really do like this and I would recommend it, but it's not one that I wear all the time. The next one, however, is one I wear a lot, and it's Pink Truffle. Um, it's the least lip buttery of the bunch. It's so unusual for this to be in this collection because it's totally opaque. It's a very creamy formula. It's not like, really, very many other lip butters. It's more like a proper lipstick with a gloss. It's really, really unusual. So if you don't think that you like Revlon lip butters, you've tried some, you don't like them, go and swatch this or just buy it because I think you will love it. It's a really nice autumnal colour. Next, I have Peach Parfait, which is okay. Not a big fan of the amount of glitter in this. Very, very shimmery. Um, and yeah, that's probably the reason that I don't love this one. Uh, and the next one is Brown Sugar. And this one is probably my least favourite of the bunch because it's quite golden in tone, really quite warm. Um, I think on a different skin tone it would look a lot nicer, but it's almost like a bronze lip. Um, yeah, not, not for me, but again, in the interest of swatching every single one, there's brown sugar. The last category is berries, and these are the super autumnal, seasonally appropriate colours. So I thought we would end on the ones that are uh, extremely right now. The first one I have is Berry Smoothie. And it's this, it, is, it kind of does look like a berry smoothie. It kind of has that creaminess to it. It's a slight shimmer still, um, but a really, really nice everyday lipstick, one that I have worn a lot. The next one is Sugar Plum. One that, in truth, I think that I hadn't even swatched before I did this. This is so nice for this time of year. And I'm so glad that I actually finally sat down and swatched them all because now I'll wear this a lot. It's a really gorgeous colour. Uh, Macaroon. This is quite a nice colour. It's it's a little bit red for me. Um, again, I it's all down to personal preference, and obviously that's why I have all the pictures up for you in the swatches and how it looks on my face, how it looks on my lips, how it looks on my hand, just because you just can't judge from something in a lip tube, um, or a lipstick tube rather. But this isn't my favourite just because it doesn't fit into the family of colours that I really, really like. It's a gorgeous lipstick and it's a really nice colour, and on someone else I probably really, really like it, but on me, it's not my favourite. The next one is Red Velvet, and this is one that I picked up in America when you couldn't get this in the UK. Uh, so I was super excited to have this thing that was exclusive to the US and now you can actually get it in the UK and it's a gorgeous colour, really nice Christmas red. Um, it's just super deep and opaque. One of the nicest opaque colours from this particular collection. One of my all time favourite lip butters is Raspberry Pi. This can be worn, well it can be worn anytime, but probably autumn winter is slightly more appropriate because it definitely feels winterish. It feels autumnal. It's definitely that 
kind of deep dark lip like I'm wearing right now. Now crazily I'm not wearing any of the lip glosses on my lips right now because I just did a get ready with me over on my other channel. Um, but if I was wearing a lip butter it would be this one because it would go with my outfit, it would go with this whole thing that I was going for and it's just one of my favourites. So I'm going to recap and give you my favourite four of the huge number of lip butters I've just shown you. They have to be these. And it's not difficult to narrow it down. There's a lot here that I don't love either because of the texture, the colour, whatever it is, not one can represent the entire of all of the lip butters. So if you buy one and you don't love that one, don't just write off the entire range because that's what I did. I tried a couple and just thought, these are terrible, I don't like them at all. And I probably tried the paler colours uh, and they were streaky and they were patchy and they just didn't look even. I just didn't like them. And then I eventually tried Raspberry Pi and that's what totally won me over and made me buy more. And now I have them all, even the ones that I don't like because that's how insane I am. But it's definitely not a consistent range. It's not like every single one is gonna be the same. They are so different. So just to swatch, to get my swatching arm out, my favorites, because so you can see them side by side, I have, hang on. I have Raspberry Pi, which is um, opaque, no glitter whatsoever. That's kind of what I like. And then we have Pink Truffle. These two again, very seasonal appropriate. I would basically be happy to just have these two lipsticks at this time of year. Uh, then I have Sorbet, which has got that kind of translucent jelly look to it, but it's still almost opaque, very creamy. Again, no glitter. And lastly, Sweet Tart, which is that slightly mid-tone pink. Yes, I definitely need both of those pink colors. <laughs> And they have to be my favourite for lip butters. All opaque, pretty much, there or thereabouts. As opaque as a lip butter gets. Um, and absolutely not one bit of glitter. I'm just not a fan of glitter lipsticks. So, I hope this was a useful video. Like I say, more information, more pictures, more links will all be in the info bar in those blog posts. I thought it was the best way of separating it up and um, giving you more information. Because otherwise this info bar would have been absolutely chock full with just names and links and everything. Um, but if there's one particular collection you're interested in, you can see it on a more condensed basis without having to look through millions of swatches. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!